Hello, Vienna Online. Travis Pastrana here, and uh, welcome to the show. You know, we really haven't, uh, didn't know what to expect coming to Europe. Um, the show is, is very kind of, it's a loose format. Um, we really have a lot of, um, everything changes every night because everyone's pushing themselves to do stuff that's never been done before. Um, so we have a lot of entertainment aspects and a lot of uh, funny and jokes and, uh, and stuff that we weren't sure if we could come to Europe and uh, really have the language barrier, how it was going to work. But, um, you know, working with some local riders and, uh, you know, some local announcers, I think it's going to be going to be a very good show. We did not expect uh, such a good turnout first year. We were like, you know what, we're going to go over there. We're going to put on a hell of a show. We're going to make everyone that went tell all their friends. And, uh, you know, for years to come, Nitro Circus is going to be something that, that people are, are excited about. But, uh, you know, definitely for it to sell out right away in Vienna and for us to, you know, now we're doing another show, uh, uh, two shows in one day. It's going to be uh, very tough uh, for the athletes but I think uh, very exciting as well. For me, um, I, I love a little bit of everything. There's nothing better than competition. Um, and that's kind of what we base, even Nitro Circus, even the freestyle and everything, is just based on, on trying to do things that have never been done, during inward competition. Um, but this next year, for me, uh, the biggest thing is going to be NASCAR, which uh, everyone in Europe is like turning cars in circles. I don't understand, but uh, it's the most competitive form of motorsport uh, pretty much in the world. And uh, to be so close with, uh, with all these other cars at 200 miles an hour is, is really exciting. Uh, for me, the most difficult so far has been anything with pavement. Um, I really struggle on, uh, you know, even on motorcycle on pavement with supermoto, um, or you know, cars on pavement. Even on rally, the the pavement stages uh, have been, you know, asphalt has been, or tarmac as you guys I think call it over here has been very very difficult for me. But switching to NASCAR, I feel like uh, it's a challenge I'm willing to take. It's just the roll of the dice. But the day You know, I hear a lot of uh, a lot of guys when they have a girlfriend or get married, they always say, "Oh, well, now you know, the old ball and chain. I can't do anything fun." Uh, but me, it's 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 awesome because my wife shares the same passions that I share, and uh, we have a lot of fun. We get to travel around the world, and uh, she scares me a lot because you know she's always pushing herself too, and she's uh, you know she wants to be the best, and she wants to always. Um, you know, always get the, the MVC award, we call it, which is the most valuable circus member. And she, she won it one night, which was absolutely amazing with all the, the top guys that are doing so many great things. And uh, I'm definitely proud of her and uh, vice versa. She's, you know, there's a couple of things that she is like, are you sure? But she usually supports me, so that's good. There's no real limit to, to motocross and the possibilities. I mean, if we ever got to where we reached the limit where no one did any more tricks, our sport would die because then it would just be gymnastics. Um, you know, it's, it's not about being perfect. It's about doing stuff that blows people's minds. And, you know, right now it's reached a level where it takes a long time to learn a new trick. Uh, but you look at Red Bull X Fighters and the courses continually change. Uh, you look at Nitro Circus and we have different takeoffs for every different type of trick and we have different landings that, that make it safer to, to practice. Uh, obviously, you go to competition and it has to be you know, to dirt or to, uh, to wood or to whatever your landing is, uh, but for our shows and for practice, we're developing stuff that uh, will hopefully help us progress a lot quicker. I think the, the beauty of uh, you know, doing action sports is that the guys that have made it this far are so passionate about what they do that when they get an injury, it's not the pain that they're bummed out about. It's the fact that they can't compete and they can't go back out there. So uh, for me to, because of an injury, say, well, I'm not going to compete anymore. Well, that's the whole reason that I'm a bummed I got injured in the first place. So, yes, I want to be out there and uh, never a moment in my life that I've ever regretted uh, the decision. Obviously, hindsight is 2020. There's a couple jumps that I probably shouldn't have done. But uh, over enthusiasm, uh, it, it'll get you a lot of good places and a lot of bad places.
Thank you, VN Online, for uh, listening, and uh, hope to see you at Nitro Circus Live.